Hello everybody, Marcus Bay Gamer here. So today I'll be doing a review of the Visitor and there are two types of them. There is a black one and kind of grayish brown version and they do have a bit of a difference. 2000 health difference. I'm not really sure what the difference like why they have more health. The black ones have more health than the, the gray brown ones. Also, also these will be like these kind of seem like they would be in Area 51, like what you would always imagine. They look like a combination of an alien from Area 51 and those creatures from uh, Goosebumps, from the books, and also from the movie. Let's see actually how um, how powerful they are then. So, okay, they do the regenerate. This one doesn't regenerate. Oh, I found a weaker link. Okay, it regenerates, but very slow. 20 health per second. For this one, I might need to push myself with actually a better weapon. Let's use the RPG. So, approximately, he regenerates super fast. Way faster than this guy right here. And... I just noticed. That was strange. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but they might have invisible wings, or is that just, uh... I might have to do it again, so I might have to just kill myself again, just to make sure. I know I can just grab more ammo for the RPG, but I gotta see this. I'm not sure if that's... I'm guessing that's just a smoke, but it looked like they had wings, invisible wings. But yeah, uh, this one doesn't regenerate that quickly, but this one regenerates almost instantly. He's far more overpowered. I'm not sure why, maybe maybe this one is like the alpha version, but they have the exact same name. Let's see how powerful they are. I'm gonna possess one of them and see their abilities. Before I continue guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells for more videos like this. And we're gonna be moving on. Let's try the weaker one first. Pretty much like giant frogs, alien frogs. And a visitor, that sounds like one of those alien movies. I'm not sure what, which one, but there's so many of them. He has the claw attack on right click, actually on left click. And right click he has a meteor shower, some strange meteor shower. Seems pretty overpowered already. And Reloading does nothing. Maybe if I press G. Gotta see what the, that does. And his head looks like a potato. Like a peach. Okay, so G, I'm not sure what it does. So I'm gonna actually make him fight this guy right here. Although we all know this guy's gonna win. And he should have the same abilities. Although he's definitely more akin to the... Halloween type. I mean, he has the perfect colors for Halloween. Looks like he's like shooting blood, pretty much. So I'm not sure what the ability does. I'm not sure what it does exactly. Doesn't really describe what it does, but let's see how he fights me. So I'm gonna make this guy fight me because I might have a better chance against him. The other one will kill me immediately. Scratch what I said. He killed me. Right when I enabled him. What is that? Is that what he does? It looks like he created like multiple like beings of himself. Transparent beings or maybe a... And he has telekinesis. At that point, why even bother fighting him? As a player, you're gonna die instantly. You cannot run from him. And he already damaged He damaged me even though I was no clipping. I'm not sure how you can defeat someone like this unless if you have an entire army of people. But yeah, his telekinesis is broken. He just carries you, you're done, you're finished. Let's see how he fights other beings. I think I had enough. I can't even fight him head on because I know I'm gonna die. The only way to kill him is to... Maybe if, the only one I can see someone killing him would be maybe like a sticky trap or like Delman could probably kill him maybe. If he was from Team Fortress 2, then one would probably be killing with uh, prep time. Let's see actually how 
he can fight other beings, so let's make him fight. Let's make him fight Cartoon Cat. Are they gonna attack each other or just friends? Maybe because I disabled them. Yeah, that's why. No players. And I was in the crossfire, of course. I keep dying to these guys in every video. Where are they? Cartoon Cat is getting demolished. 700 damage per strike. So this guy is not a weakling, that's for sure. Against players, I understand why he might be overpowered, but against anyone else, he's still pretty powerful. He managed to kill Cartoon Cat. Let's see if he can defeat an enraged version of him. And I still died by his blast. He's lift he lifts everyone in the map. How many beings can he lift? Okay, come on. How are you talking to me? He's damaging me no matter what I do. Maybe there's like a certain area, but... What does this even do? It looks like he gains... He absorbs like life force for someone. Like he absorbs the life force. I saw him increase his uh, health a bit more than usual. Can he defeat... We're gonna upgrade it to Cartoon Siren Head. And I keep dying to his abilities. He's lifting a guy. He's pretty much stunning uh, Siren Head. But yeah, Siren Head is pretty much running away. Oh, he grabbed him while he's they're playing. It looks like they're playing with each other right now. Like when the kid, when pretty much the dad grabs the kid, they're dancing. This is very, very silly. Pretty much they're hugging each other to death right now. Would you guys imagine this in Gary's mod, seeing two of them, two NPCs dancing to death? So he managed to kill him. That wasn't an easy fight. I mean, the guy was already injured, but he did manage to beat him again. Or at least the stronger cartoon version of or the stronger cartoon character. And let's see if he can defeat, defeat Mecha Cartoon Cat. I'm sure he won't. His health is pretty weak right now. The telekinesis does help against flying characters. Like, you cannot escape from him if you're up close to him. Who's winning here? We have to see. I mean, you have to take notice. This guy is already injured, so he might actually... He might actually lose. Okay, so the visitor did lose. Although, he wasn't even... He was... Less than half health, and he managed to almost take on Mecha Cartoon Cat. That is impressive. Can I actually make him fight someone even more powerful? So now I'm gonna make him fight more powerful beings just because the visitor is far more overpowered than I, I thought, and that's how you spell not spell visitor. So I spell it wrong. I have to go right here. Let's make that more overpowered visitor that can regenerate pretty much instantly from any attack. Fight. Hawk. Just gonna put him immediately. Okay, so Warbreaker Hawk kills him. I thought maybe he can defeat him, but nope. A bit too, too much power already. Can he defeat... Can he actually defeat a Hawk though in the base form? I'm sure he can. I mean, he is technically, if this would be Pokemon, he's a Psychic type, so he should be able to defeat the Hulk. Hulk is a fighting type. I mean, he already pushed him to Warbreaker without much effort. So, there's that. I mean, getting to, a Hulk to Warbreaker form is already, is already a, good, a good sign of how powerful he is. But can he defeat Red Hulk? Red Hulk does not have the same type of uh, rage. Actually, it's spelled Rock. Let's see if you can defeat Rock. I'm sure you can. And I still die from his ability. I might have to put God Mode at this point, but the thing is, I know it's gonna be... It's gonna be hard to test his power after. Red Hulk had no chance there. He couldn't even get to him. Pretty much, if you have no ranged attacks, you're gonna die almost instantly by this guy. He's... 
He's definitely one of the more overpowered characters. Someone that has telekinesis. He can just grab you from a distance, you're dead. Let's see how he fights 173, because I'm sure 173 will not be able to grab him. That's the thing. Telekinetic characters will be able to defeat 173. They just lift him up, he won't be able to move. Where is he? So, he can't move. I mean, he can actually, but only when he turns. So, yeah, 173 is pretty much a joke to this guy, plus. It doesn't look like he would be blinking. So yeah, he's pretty much a direct counter to 173. Can Shy Guy do anything to him? Gonna be putting the overpowered version, maybe it might be give him a better chance. And he's gonna attack him immediately. Where are they? Yep, he's chasing him right immediately. I'm not sure why he would go that way. There was no one there. Where is he going? For a second, it looks like he was chasing me. Okay, so 96, the broken version of him. I mean, he did kill the Hulk. He did kill so many characters already. He managed to kill this guy as well. That's really surprising, but I just wanted to test how powerful he is. And for the last fight, guys, I'm going to make him fight the Mecha Siren Head. Because I know Mecha Siren Head... He's not the most powerful, but he definitely is one of the more one of the more per, uh, powerful characters in the game. I'm gonna put in the rage version just because, but I feel like he will win because of his health difference and he has the barrier sound barrier right here. And this might not be a bad fight after all. This guy can regenerate quickly, so maybe he can counter his uh, damage. I just stay away from them because I know they're gonna. They're most likely gonna kill me if I get to that area. This guy might be the first one to actually kill Mecha Siren Head fairly without one shotting him. Okay, never mind what. I just scratch. Just scratch what I said before. He did give him a good fight, but Mecha Siren Head just uses explosive attack that, that pretty much incinerates, it incinerates everything in his way, so yeah, that completely closed the deal who's more powerful. Mecha Siren Head saw him as too dangerous, so, so he just finished it as, as quickly as possible. Don't forget to subscribe guys, like, and turn on the notification bell to guys for more videos like this and i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye <laughs>